Hi, and welcome to this week's video. It is all about getting your lashes on. Literally, I am focusing on magnetic lashes today. You've seen me in previous tutorials put them on and it definitely takes practice. I have found since I have been dabbling in lash alternatives lately, as you know, I've done lash extensions which work great. I stopped doing it because a couple of reasons. Number one, the time commitment. It was about an hour out of my day every two weeks. And also financially, they start to add up and get very expensive. And then I got frustrated with not being able to, to do soap and water on my eyes. So once I removed those, I let my natural lashes fill in and I have been experimenting with magnetic lashes. In particular, these outer wing lashes. And I have found these on Amazon. And they're the 0.2 millimeter, so you know the size. They're, they're so easy to apply, and they've been terrific because I literally will apply two coats of mascara, let that set, and then pop these babies on on my outer corner. They're feather light. They give me that nice little cat eye that I really like, and at the end of the day, I just take them, wiggle them, pry them loose, and put them right back in their container. So um, I've gotten a lot of wear out of these, and they're great. So I'm going to demo how to put these on. We'll go through it slowly, so hopefully that'll help you kind of hone in on your technique. And the next thing that I'm going to do is the magnetic eyeliner and lashes. I have a set by Tori Bell and we will practice with putting on the magnetic eyeliner. And then the lashes, um, usually they're wide so you can cut them down to fit your size. And then we will pop these on and just kind of compare the differences between the two. So let me push on him and we'll go through this step by step so you can see, hopefully follow along at home if you have some of these and uh, maybe make it as painless as possible so it'll happen in a snap. And the way I stack them is I will do upper lash here on the bottom, lower lash here. That's on the left side, upper lash and lower lash. They're very easy to pull out. This is a magnetic tray. So you just literally lift them feather light and then they just grip right back. Okay, so I'm going to start with my left eye and I'm going to take that lash and I'm going to set it right here on top of my outer lash line, right where I want it to be. And it'll, it'll stay put. See how it's sitting there? I'm not gonna move too much. Now I'm gonna take that bottom one. You can use those little grippers that come with it. I've gotten very accustomed to doing this with my, my hand. So here's the lower lash, and it's going to essentially grip the upper lash. The two magnets meet and they pinch together pretty quickly. So what I do is I take my finger and I hold that upper lash in place right where I want it. And then I come in underneath and they instantly meet up and voila, there it is. Lashes are on. That was pretty, pretty quick and painless. And then what I do sometimes is, uh, as you know, I have a, a coat of mascara on, but I'll take a liquid eyeliner and then I might fill in just a little bit on the inside of my eye and just deepen that line a tiny, tiny bit, just making sure that everything is matching up in terms of liner, thickness, all of that. Once your lash is in place, you can play with it. Uh, you shouldn't feel anything. If it feels like it's tugging on your lid, there's a chance that those magnetic clamps clamped right by your lid and, and it's pinching a little bit, you can take it and grip it and sort of pull it out very, very gently. They will stay together. It's a strong magnetic grasp. If it's a little bit too far on the inside, you can take it and slightly tug it and pull it a little bit to the outside. Just little maneuvers and movements. Um, sometimes if, if it's too far out, you can take it and push it in. There are a lot of uh, different manipulations that you can do. Sometimes it just didn't clasp in the right spot and you have to pull it out and start all over again. You just take it and you grip and out it comes. Did not pull, tug, tear, nothing. It's now clamped together. So you take your fingers and you will just slightly wiggle and it separates them and you've got your upper and your lower lash again. Okay, you can see. So I'll, I'll put it back on again. 
um, just so you can see. I always like to put them on the tray just so I don't lose them. I'll tell you what, these suckers can fall and if you're wearing black, all bets are off. So I like to just put them in the magnetic tray as quickly as possible so I don't lose these because I get a lot of wear out of them. Okay, so here we go. Back on top, position it where you want it. Grab the bottom one. I just grab by the lashes, take my finger, hold on to the top and let the two meet underneath and they just come right together. Okay, let me do the other side for you. Coming in on top, just position it in the right spot. Grab the bottom, hold it down, and then let the two meet. And that's it. And now you have magnetic lashes on. They will stay on all day, all night, until you take, wiggle, and pull them out. But I, I adore these. They are, they're an instant light wing. They look extremely natural. I wear these on the air all the time. I wear them out. I just think it's that nice little outer flirty corner. Um, if your eyes are deep set or narrow, it provides a nice little width, a little cat eye. You can really play up your makeup with this and you can draw out eyeliner a little bit more, um, but you have so many great options. And you saw, I mean, it, trust me, it will get that easy and quick. It's awkward at first until you get your system down. I, I kind of compare it to learning how to put on a contact lens. If you've ever had to wear contacts before, the first time you're struggling, you're struggling, you're thinking, how am I gonna get this thing on my eyeball and then all of a sudden you get your system down and it's like boop boop you're in no biggie these will be the same way for you okay time for the next demo i have removed these outer lashes here and everything's back in the little case i am moving on now to the tori bell magnetic eyeliner and the lash and the lash that i've chosen is called nine to five for that very reason. It looks like a more natural type of a lash line. All kinds of options, by the way. Here's, here's ladies night. Woo, very flirty. And if you're really wanting to do it upright, here's selfie. Okay, so anyway, nine to five for today. So the instructions are, you take your magnetic eyeliner, this is in black, and you wiggle it around and they say to apply the magnetic eyeliner as you would a normal eyeliner. You can do this by itself or you can put it on top of your favorite eyeliner. So I'm going to go in and hug my lash line. Same on the other side. And now here's the important part. It needs to dry for one minute. Got a little bit of liner down here on the lower lash line, but I cleaned that up. That would be so weird if my lash tried to stick down below. I'm like, no, go up. Anyway, make sure your magnetic liner is exactly where you want it to be. Okay, so line two. I'm doing a little flick outside since I want that outer lash to kind of pick up um, and lift at the wing. Okay, here we go again. Okay, so now it is time to apply the nine to five eyelashes. I rested them on my lash line just to see how they fit and they are a little bit long for me. So they say all you need to do is cut off one of the magnets in the back. So. You can see the spacing of the magnets and um, I'm just going to cut off one on the inner corner on each lash. Okay, there's one and the other one. All right, you can use a clamp to apply it. I've gotten so used to just using my fingers, so that's what I'm going to do. You take the lash and you bring it in toward the magnetic liner, starting with the inner corner. 
and it just clicks down and rests right on the magnetic liner. That's it. Pop! So instead of bringing two to meet, you're just taking one lash line and having it meet with the liner. It just immediately grips and rests on your, your liner. So, so cool and so very easy. And then when everything is where you want it, you can take it, you can wiggle it down if you need to until you get the right setting on it. And that's it. So simple, magnetic lashes, either liner or the clamp. It's been so easy for me and, and transformative, and I just, I have to share what works. A little bit of um, care and upkeep on these, when you take them off, you need to clean the magnets, but it's very simple. You just basically take your finger and scrape off any magnetic liner that's stuck to the magnet to keep it fresh. Don't want to get any oils on it, anything like that. You can get up to 20 uses of your magnetic lashes if you're really careful. Use coconut oil or any oil-based makeup to remove the eyeliner. That's right. So oil-based makeup gets the eyeliner off, store them back in their case 20 more times. You are good to go. These retail for $55. $5. So 55 bucks used 20 times. Hey, that's pretty good. Comments, ideas, suggestions for future videos, um, whatever it is that you're thinking about. This video came about because of you, because you've asked, how do I do this? Please slow it down. Please show it to me. So if there's anything that you need a little bit more of a breakdown, um, I am more than happy to accommodate if, of course, I've figured it out. <laughs> so just make sure it's within my, my realm. And oh, we have the New Year, New You giveaway winner video, the vlog coming on January 30th. So exciting. Jill Cooper from Bristol, Indiana was here in Houston just this past weekend. We had such a great time together. I cannot wait for you to meet her, for you to see all that took place during her three days here in Houston. Um, I think it was really, it was special for us both and I can't wait to share that with you. So don't forget next Thursday, January 30th at 1 p.m. Also, Oh, by the way, um, looks like I'm going to be back on the Today Show on Tuesday, January 28th. I am so excited. Um, yes, Tuesday the 28th with Hoda and Jenna in the 10 o'clock hour on the Today Show. Um, I'm not saying anything more. <laughs> it's just so cool. Anyway, fabulous things going on in 2020. I hope it's getting off to a great start for you. Okay, go out, be bold and be blessed, and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.